everybody, welcome to Instant Pot with Poonam. Today's a special day. Today's our first um, non-veg dish. It's butter chicken. So I personally am a vegetarian, so I traditionally have not learned how to make meat dishes in a pot because I never grew up knowing how to. Um, my husband does like to eat chicken and fish, so this Instant Pot has actually helped me make non-veg dishes that I never really learned to know or grow up learning. So this actually does help me a lot and it's very quick. So. Nilani's napping, so we're gonna quickly make this and get it um, out there for you guys to make and try and please share your stories. So um, we can run through our ingredients in just a second. I'm first gonna get the um, Instapot started. So what you can do is go ahead and hit the saute button. And while it's warming up, we're gonna run through our ingredients so that you know what you have. Remember at the bottom of the video, you'll get your uh, recipe as well as some variations um, down there as well, so make sure you reference that. The beeping is just telling you that it's on and heating up. So let's run through what we've got. So we have butter, cumin or jeera. We have a chopped onion, ginger and garlic, tomato puree. So this is something that you can see in the variation section. I blended up a can of uh, diced tomatoes. You can use tomato sauce as well, but it'll be in the, sec in the recipe section. We also have some butter chicken masala and it's by Sean. You can buy any um, company of butter chicken masala. Just one thing to note is that some seasonings already come with salt and so you may want to taste it or add the salt after you're done making the dish just so you don't make it too salty or less salty. So just know that ours has quite a bit of salt so we're not adding additional salt. If people prefer it they can add it from the top when we eat. Um, we have whipping cream and we have some chopped chicken, boneless chicken breast here, so in our little tray. So in order to get started, what you're first gonna do, and also don't forget your improv glass lid that I just found in my drawer. Make sure you use one that you already have, don't buy one. So we're gonna run through and start get started. So we're gonna dump our butter into the Instapot. Remember, we just turned it on, so it's gonna take a little bit to heat up, but it'll get heated up and we'll throw in everything, and so you'll start hearing it sizzle once it's hot enough. So we got that, and we're gonna throw in our jeera and the onions. And I'm just gonna close the lid, and like you can hear the sizzling, it's gonna warm up as we talk to you. But I'm gonna cover up the lid, or cover up the Instant Pot with the lid, and while it melts, it'll start cooking. We're gonna come back when the onions are translucent, yellow colored, and then we'll move on to the rest of the steps. Just spread out your jeera, and your butter will melt as it heats up, and you can come back and stir it in a few minutes as well. So I'm gonna close it up so my house doesn't stink. One tip to remember, make sure you put your Instapot under your vent hood or your fan, because most people do have an outlet next to your stove, so that would be one good way not to get the smell throughout your house. But for this purpose, we're on the island today. Okay, everybody, so we've been sauteing for about three minutes, and you can use your judgment. Um, if you think that you want to cook them longer, that's fine. Mine are already translucent yellow. The onions have now shrunk to a smaller size, and you can start smelling the cumin. So you're no, now you're ready to go for the next few steps. So. What you do now is you're gonna add your ginger and garlic in, your tomato puree, your masala, the butter chicken masala, and the whipping cream. That's my favorite part, but my husband, he likes a healthier version, but this is gonna be the comfort food version. So you mix that all up, and then you're gonna put in your chicken, and make sure the um, chicken gets coated really well in the sauce. And then what we're gonna do is go into the pressure cooking function. So you're gonna need your actual lid for the Instapot for this part. So it's all coated really well. You're gonna use your lid for the Instapot. Make sure the seal is closed for the steam. Make sure the lines lined up. So, we're gonna turn off the steam function, or the saute function, so you're gonna off, manual mode, and scroll down to eight minutes. Now, we're gonna let it cook for eight minutes, but once the timer goes off, we're gonna let the chicken sit in there for another five minutes, just so it soaks up all that steam and it's kind of a fluffier um, texture, so we'll make sure and wait before we open it for about five minutes and then we'll get together and plate it. Okay. 
Okay, everybody, so I went ahead and just turned it off and took the steam out. We're ready to open it and get to the next last step before we dish. So we're gonna open it up and you'll be able to see the chicken. Now, I made a mistake. I'm a vegetarian. I said that the chicken will be fluffy, but I actually meant that it'll be tender when you have it in the pressure cooking mode. But you can see that um, the color has already gone into the chicken and it looks really good. It smells really good. So we're ready to go in just a few steps. So what the last part is, is you're gonna throw in the butter. Again, this will be in the recipe down at the bottom. And then the rest of the whipping cream. And just stir it up until the butter's melted and then we're gonna plate it. So that way we are, well, I'm not ready to eat, but my husband's gonna be ready to eat. And you can serve this with white rice. Um, you can serve it with burrata, with roti. You can eat it by itself. It's totally up to you how you wanna eat it. Um, I see a lot of people enjoy it with naan, so that's another variation. Again, you don't have to make all this. You can just get it in the frozen section at the Indian store and it will whip up your dinner in a jiffy. So let's start plating this. It smells so good. You might wanna become a non-veg eater if you're a vegetarian after smelling it. Alrighty, so it looks like we're ready to go. I'm gonna go get the paratha ready and we're gonna go eat some dinner. And if you um, enjoyed that video, that's great, but we would love to hear your success stories and also any suggestions that you'd like us to try. We are more than happy to do so. So please leave some comments for us and we'll definitely get to your suggestions. Um, below is a recipe, don't forget to reference that and please don't forget to subscribe. Mm -hmm.